I'm still scratching my head at the results of Monday night's election. How could Canadian voters put at the helm of our great nation a proven, incompetent, and corrupt Prime Minister like Justin Trudeau? I can understand foreign countries swooning at the mention of Sunnyway's PM. They've never seen the real face of this fake feminist, socialist, narcissist. But Canadians? Canadians who've lived through lav scam, ethics violation, billionaire's island vacation, ethics violation, people kind, terrorist payouts, no money for veterans, firing Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philpott, poor treatment of Native Indians, conspiring against Vice Admiral Mark Norman and ruining this man's life and career until his egregious treatment was exposed. And finally, but probably not the last scandal that we will bear witness to, blackface, three times that we know of. This would have ruined the career of anyone other than Justin Trudeau. Trudeau's sanctimonious smugness has brought out the worst in everyday citizens, especially those whom he thinks are his precious middle class. But in reality, Trudeau has no idea, nor does he care, what middle class means or how average Joe or Jane struggle to make ends meet. And most of them, at least those in the know, hate his guts. He and his liberal cronies, including the mostly incompetent cabinet in place in his government, pile on the taxes, the next one, which will be the carbon tax, paid for by a country responsible for less than 2% of the world's pollution. And people knew this and still re-elected him? Canadians, or should I say East Coast Canadians, have shown them selves to be an ungrateful lot. When Newfoundland's cod industry put thousands out of jobs, where did the unemployed go? Why to Alberta, of course, once the economic engine of our country. And yet, Newfoundlanders did not hesitate to re-elect Liberals in 2019. Short memories or just plain ignorance? Whatever the case, the smoldering anger in the West is understandable and pretends a potential rift down the road. I thought about moving out of Canada the day after the election. I have no wish to wait around to have my hard-earned wealth redistributed for me by this idiot. But then Canada is my home too. In examining my options, I see the following possible choices. Number one, leave the country. Don't really want to. Number two, move to Alberta if and once they separate. But this, of course, will not happen quickly. Number three, get rid of Trudeau and the Liberals. Canada blew it this time. But might this haughty leader yet be found in breach of one thing or another in the next year or two, or even better, be forced to resign over some much more egregious scandal that could be about to fall from some closet or other yet undiscovered? Never have I hated a prime minister so intensely in all of the years that I have been a citizen of this country. And I am not by any means the only one.